I spent 17 years meticulously curating the perfect life. Hey movie lovers, welcome back to our channel, and let's get started with the topic 5 movies directed by women to stream now. At number 1 we have Atlantics. Maddie Diop made her on-screen debut as an actor with another talented director, Claire Dennis, in the 2008 film 35 Shots of Rum, and little over a decade later, she made her own feature debut, Atlantics, which debuted at the 2019 Cannes Film Festival and won the Grand Prix. Atlantics follows a young woman named Ada, named by Nita Sane, and her boyfriend, Solomon Ibrahima Traore, as he leaves Senegal for Spain in hopes of a better future. Unfortunately, Solomon is lost at sea, but strange things begin to happen in Ada's life that suggests she's not truly alone. At number two, we have Bird Box. Describe seeing an entity that takes on the form of your worst fears. Oh my god. For years, Danish filmmaker Suzanne Beer made complex movies about intense family situations before branching out into TV with The Night Manager and Horror with Bird Box, an adaptation of Josh Mailerman's novel about a post-apocalyptic future that captured the world's attention when it was released in 2018. In the movie, Mallory Hayes, Sandra Bullock, is attempting to lead two children to safety, but they must never remove their blindfolds, or they risk seeing the monsters that have driven humanity to the brink of self-destruction. The deceptively simple premise becomes a formidable lesson in suspense through Beer's cinematic style. At number three, we have Do Revenge. Don't you want to make her pay? I want to burn her to the ground. Mix Alfred Hitchcock strangers on a train with a blend of high school classics like Heathers and Mean Girls, add a heavy dose of Miami Beach pastels, and you'll get a sense of what Do Revenge is all about. After falling out with, respectively, a former boyfriend and friend, Dree, Camila Mendez, and Eleanor, Maya Hawk, devise a revenge scheme that involves swapping each other's enemy to get back at them. If you'd like to keep the escapist energy going, director Jennifer Caton Robinson previously made the charming Gina Rodriguez comedy Someone Great, which follows a music journalist in New York City enjoying one last hurrah with her longtime girlfriends before starting a new job across the country and processing her big breakup. At number four, we have Fair play. It's so hard to accept that I deserve that job. I never got the shot. Ah! Chloe Daman's feature debut is an erotic workplace thriller that doubles as an exploration of gender dynamics in corporate America. Emily, Phoebe Dinever, and Luke Alden Ehrenreich look like the power couple to envy, but their dueling ambitions as analysts at a competitive hedge fund soon spoil the promising relationship, warping it into a power struggle for dominance and opportunity. Daman carefully teases Luke's insecurities about his partner's success, probing the very real trend of men not coping well with women's advancement in the workplace. At number five, we have the half of it. Give it up next for Ellie Chu. Chugga, chugga, choo, choo. <laughs> Loosely inspired by the classic plight of Cyrano de Bergerac, Alice Wu's The Half of It follows a high-achieving Chinese-American student named Ellie Leah Lewis, who takes on the task of writing love letters and texts for her fellow classmate and jock Paul, Daniel Deemer, so he can impress a girl they both harbor feelings for, Aster, Alex Zeislamir, written and directed by Wu. The Half of It is a semi-sweet, complicated love affair between the three leads as they navigate their feelings and figure out what they really want out of life. Wu's previous film Saving Face is an early aughts gem, and The Half of It follows in its foot steps by deftly exploring conversations around Asian American and queer identities. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more movie recommendations and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Happy streaming, and we'll see you next time.